Hey y'all, I'm back with a new video on the Jinmitsu 4040 Reno machine. And today is March 1st, and if you check the Saint Smart website, they are now releasing this. And I think they're even going to run a sale on it, so be sure and check that out. I'll have a link below down in the description uh, if you want to go check that out. Today I'm going to be running a little project. This is just a piece of uh, pallet wood. Uh, I took this uh, quarter inch bit and I did purchase the, uh, in fact I got to take it out of here, I did purchase the uh, some extra collets so that I can run a quarter inch bit. So I ran that and kind of planed this down a little bit and today I'm going to be running a little 3D carve. Uh, I'll be using this uh, 1 8 inch end mill for the roughing pass and then I've got this uh, 1 8 inch uh, I guess that's a ball nose but that's what I've used in the past for some of these 3d cars and it works out pretty well so that's what I'm going to be using so let me get this thing uh, homed and bit changed and then we'll set the Z and we'll get this thing started
Okay, I have to tell you this little Jinmitsu 4040 Reno continues to impress me. This, uh, I mean, I wasn't even really using the right bits for this and this didn't turn out too bad at all. Uh, I'm just trying to do a few little projects to uh, show anybody that might be interested in getting one of these what it's, uh, what it's capable of doing. I put a pic couple of pictures up that I took, uh, try to get you a better look at this because you can't, I don't think it's probably going to show up that great in the video. But uh, I was going to try to squeeze two projects into this video, but I know the next project I'm going to do is going to take a lot longer than even this one did. So I decided to go ahead and make it a separate video. Uh, but I'm going to try to do a V-carb inlay and it's going to be a resin inlay. Uh, so I'm going to try to do that one uh, next, I may have to do that one over a couple of days because anytime you pour resin, you gotta wait for it to cure and all that. So, also wanted to mention that I did purchase this uh, 69 millimeter mount off the Saintsmark website. This is uh, 69 millimeter will work with a Porter Cable 450 router or the Dewalt 611, uh, and I also have 3D printed a little insert that goes in here that will then make it 65 millimeters so I can use my Makita router uh, instead. And that's probably what I'm gonna use on this thing from here on out. I just wanted to run a project with this little uh, stock 60 watt spindle just so like I said, in case somebody's thinking about getting one of these, they can see what all this thing will do. It, uh, it's not really that bad, it'll, it'll work pretty good. It's just that, you know, it's obviously not gonna be as fast as a one and a, hor uh, one and a quarter horsepower Makita or, uh, or a DeWalt 611 or something like that. So, and plus you, it's a lot easier to use the quarter inch shank bits with the, uh, the larger routers. So if you are interested in checking one of these out, I'll leave links down below. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, today's March 1st, and I saw on the Saint Smart website that they are now releasing these for sale, so they'll be shipping them really soon. Um, so if you want to check those out, I'll have a link down below in the description. And I guess that's going to do it for this video. If you've got anything out of this video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please consider doing so and then make sure you hit the little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.